Who are you? Laser them 700. Laser them, welcome to summer? Smash. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and right off the bat, Laser Dim, I have a gift for you right here. A double XL on the cover is? Lil Wayne. From 2007. Yeah, 2007. Very important to Laser Dim, right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, you were Laser Dim. We have to know. Yeah, this yeah, this Lil Wayne, like a big inspiration, like part of the reason, like one reason why I write right now. And if you could open up to the pages there. This Lil Wayne, again, this Lil Wayne uh, get money music crazy. How you know this? Well, you were lasered him. We have to know. Facts. And also, to top that off, Laser Dim, we also have a Lil Wayne doll action figure for you. Appreciate it. It look like some, it look like some, some rock star. He look like a rock star. Uh, possible goals for Laser Dim? Possible. Possible. <laughs> Possible. So we have a double XL from 2007 with Little Wayne and a Little Wayne action figure. Action figure for you, Laser. Dim 700. At summer. Smash. Yeah. 2024. Narwar. Laser Dim 700. Laser Dim. So there was a studio in your house at one time. Yeah, it was a studio in my house. When you were growing up. Yeah. Second grade? Second grade. And it was your mom's boyfriend? Yeah, my mom's boyfriend. Had a studio in the house? Yeah, yeah, second grade. What did he go by? Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember where he went by. Yeah, what did he go by? You know where he went by? You know where his name is? <laughs> his name Deer City, or Dro, Woodrow Edwards, or something like that. June, get money. <laughs> yeah, June, get money. That's my cousin. John. John. Rest in peace. Yeah, long live John. And you made a song going to Sacramento? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you tell me about that? I really just be making music like everywhere I go. I make it on my phone, so it just be easy. So I got headphones. It's easy. Did he help shape Red Ops? Did he introduce you to Red Ops? <laughs> Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that happen? I linked back up with him and like when I got out of school. So yeah, we started linking. We just we just started kicking it again. Are you related to Fly Dave at all? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my cousin. That's my big cousin. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my big cousin. Shout out Fly Dave. Anything you'd like to say about Fly Dave and Laser Jim <laughs> collab? <laughs> Yeah, we used to make funny video. Me and Fly Day used to make funny video. Shout out Fly Day. Juice money on the <laughs> Juice Money. <laughs> on the beat. Juice money on the beat. <laughs> How you know, bro? Well, you were laser dim. Yeah, I'm laser dim. But we have to know. At first I was juice money. Like that was my first rock now, juice money. Yeah, <laughs> laser dim. Quote, trap house jumping like Michael Jordan. <laughs> what was that all about? Like, I used to be hearing, like, me go growing up. I used to be hearing everybody. Right? I really was just, I ain't, I ain't know how to create my own title, so I just took their title. Yeah, I was curious, who is this gentleman right here? Damn. Do you know who this is? <laughs> Yeah, this is me. <laughs> this is me. I had to find out how to do the um, pitch art. Like, I had to really find out. This first time I found out how to use pitch art. Photo editor. And what does it say at the top? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's swag. No, that's swag. What was that era of laser dim lake? I really was just trying stuff. Like, I was young. I was just, I really was just trying stuff. This old, though. How old were you there? I probably was like 10. How about like 10 or 9 or 11? And was it hard to put this picture together? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I probably set the phone up. I probably set the phone up, put a time on it, and then sat down. And I just edited it. Just put little stars on it. I, I put the glasses on her and the hat. That's all she wrote freestyle. <laughs> That's the old song I did when I was young.
Mm. I was young, just following Lil Wayne, copying Lil Wayne, everything Lil Wayne was doing. Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa, bro. That's a girl I used to go with in like fifth grade. Like, Alyssa. India. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this is another girl. Cordell Rec Center or Cordell Skate Park? Yeah, Cordell Rec Center. I used to. I used to play for the uh, Raiders. I used to play football for the Raiders at Cordero Recreation Department. Football. What was it like playing against Laser Dim? What were you like as a player? I was the best player, like on, on the best, on the best athlete like, that y'all gonna like, ever find. Like, on the best athlete, like, like, on the best athlete. No fear. Yeah. What did you play? I mean, it probably was fear back then. <laughs> I was a receiver. <laughs> I was a receiver. I mean, I probably had fear back then, but shit. 16th Avenue. <laughs> 16th Avenue. That's in my, that's, that's in, that's like my line. Like 16th Avenue. Mm. Carter's Fried Chicken. <laughs> oh, that's like a, a fried chicken place in the quarter. Like chicken, fried chicken. Go. Nah, you can go. No, go ahead. Corner Quarter, get some Carter's, Carter Burgers, fried chicken. Gum Creek. <laughs> He's so worried, bro. He know more about him than he know than he remember himself. He said, that's a girl I used to talk to back when I was like, fifth grade. <laughs> How the fuck you know that? Like, nigga went to school with me or something. Gum Creek. That's it. Like, how y'all know about it? How, how y'all know about that stuff? Well, you're laser dim 700. We have to know. Yeah, fact. Gum Creek, though. That's like. In my hood, like, like all this stuff they talking about is like in my little small town. That's why I don't know how they even know about this stuff. Dur <laughs> Bro, get scared. <laughs> I'll be scared too, boy. That just make you regret trying to be famous, nigga. Like, how you know about Also, is a missile in Cordell? A rocket. Like, soon you get out the, soon you get out the exit, it's a, it's a, a, a big, big rocket, like. Right as soon as you get out the exit, like a missile. Like an I-75. Yeah, like right there on the highway. Like. A Titan rocket. That's pretty wild, isn't it? I know that. You went down there before? Well, you're laser dim. We have to know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. But what's it like having a rocket in your town? Is an inspiration for laser dim? That is an inspiration for me to take off. Quote, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Wait, do it again. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Laser. 30. <laughs> daddy, 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 30. <laughs> Where this from? 30, a song. And quote, I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> and that's my old music. Like when I was Juice, Juice Man, like, that's what I was like. Damn, you, you know that? Damn, that's like. Like five, six years ago, I was rapping. Damn, y'all know that. That's a long time. That's a long time, bro. That's, that's that nigga scared like, as hell. songs ain't even out. Like, how y'all even find that? Whoa. <laughs> that nigga scared. <laughs> that nigga scared. Where? You were lasered him. We have to find stuff. That nigga lasered him, though. That's not under lasered him. It's under another, a whole nother name. They did their research. Laser Dim, Young Mio. <laughs> young Mio, they used to come to my school. Like, that's like, damn, I was in like fifth grade. But Young Mio, them, they used to come to my school, like, teach her how to stop, drop, and roll. And I used to, like, I used to want to rap like, like Young Mio. Like, I used to want to rap like Young Mio. Like, take, I used to take Young Mio songs and, and, and act like they was mine and perform them. That's crazy, y'all know that. That's crazy. Young Mio. Shout out, Young Mio. Laser Dim, I wanted to give you a gift from Cordell. Georgia. Georgia. Believe it or not, this gentleman right here, Buster Brown, is from Cordell, Georgia. For real? He was number one in the R&B charts in 1960. For real? Bust, Buster Brown? Buster Brown. He's from Cordell, and I thought perhaps you could get Gozan 
to sample him. Hey, go, go to hand and sample him. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell him. What do you know about musicians from Cordell? I don't really know about, I don't really know, I don't really know that about that many people from Cordell that's like, that made music, you see what I'm saying? I ain't really knew that it was like other folks from Cordell that made music. So that's a gift for you, some Buster Brown to sample. What's this like? What genre is this doing? I guess it hit R&B charts like in 1960, number one, you know, as a compilation. So I think you would probably find something there. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure I tell Gotson to uh, sample this. I sample something there. But what can you say, Laser Dim, about Gozan? You met him through the Joker. <laughs> See, I fought with, I fought with Gotson. Like, they're my favorite producer. Like, that's... Yeah, they're my favorite producer. Like through the YouTube comments, that's how you met him? Yeah, yeah through YouTube comment. That's incredible. <laughs> he did it. How you know that? Well, you were lasered him. We have to know. Yeah. I met got through the uh, YouTube comment, though. And the song The Joker. He liked The Joker. It's Joker beat. Oh, Jokery. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Jokery, yeah. That's the first song we made together. Yeah. Damn, he tied down. Jokery. That's, that's how I met Gotson, like, Jokery, the song I made, first song. Damn. Laser Dim, TikTok, for two straight days, you were on there? Wigging out. <laughs> Wigging out. To explain, playing a Glock song for like two days? What happened? It was really five days. I, 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 I was laced. What sort of battery did you need an iPhone? What type of battery you need? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was wigging out though. Playing, playing the same song over for like five days on TikTok. And it was a Glock song? Yeah, it was a Glock, Glock, Glock for the Spare song, 20K. What sort of presets do you use when you record? Your presets? None. <laughs> I only use a preset. It's regular. I just get on there. I just plug the mic in. Yeah, can you explain your technique, like singing through headphones, don't you? Yeah, headphones and, and the iPhone. BandLab. Download BandLab. It's free. Headphones. Just put the beat on the um, BandLab app. Connect the headphones. You're good. And most people, you say, are like overthinking when they record? Yeah, you ain't got to really overthink. Really just say something that you feel like is cool. See you know what I'm saying? Make something that's going to be fat to you. But you have two phones, don't you? Like, what, it's important. Is it, should I get two phones for streaming? Do you need two phones? I think you need three. <laughs> Boom. I think you need three. <laughs> Where you've done a lot of TikToking, I see a cashier in the background. Do they know what's happening? Yeah, they know. They know. <laughs> nah, they don't even know. That's the thing. They don't even know what social media is, like the cash is. They don't even know what social media is. You do a lot from the bathroom. Does anybody bang on the door trying to get into the bathroom when you're TikToking live? Nah, <laughs> nah, they know I be live, so they don't, they, don't, they don't interrupt. I mean, do you have any tips for aspiring IG live wannabes? You gotta be funny, entertaining. Uh, you gotta be cool. <laughs> and Laser Dim, I have another gift for you right here, a Home Alone LP. My favorite movie. Kevin, um, Kevin McAllister. Yeah, they Kevin McAllister. If you ain't never watched this before, you ain't never had no real... Macaulay. Oh, that's his real name. Oh, you know his real name. On the movie, this Kevin McAllister. <laughs> But if you ain't never watched this growing up, though, I don't know what to tell you. Home Alone, Lost in New York, starring? Lazy down. <laughs> nah, I was just playing. Home Alone in New York, starring? Laser Dim. Like, you can actually buy his house. It's for sale now. Five million dollars. Five million? Yeah. He had a house? The house in the movie. In New York? Oh, well, on this th one? Yeah, this movie. You can buy it for five million dollars. Do you think that'll be a good investment? Nah, I'd probably put it on Airbnb. I'd probably buy it and put it on Airbnb.com. Just man, rent it out. And you've done some exploring on IG Live in New York, right? <laughs> yeah, I went to uh, Times Square, roaming around Times Square. 
people weren't concerned about your feet. You know, you walking. Yeah, I'll be walking a lot. So. In the right direction and where you. <laughs> I mean, I walk anyway, so it's all right. Yeah, I don't got to be concerned about my feet. I'm, I'm gonna walk. And you were laser. Dim. Laser dim. You were arrested on IG Live. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was finna get arrested on IG. Yeah, yeah, I was arrested on IG Live. And then you dissed the cop? <laughs> you said he'd be in a diss song? Yeah, I was supposed to. I ain't never followed through with it, though. But what were you doing? You were outside of a laundromat? RC car. I was playing with a motor truck car. That's wild. Like, why were you arrested for playing with a remote control car? <laughs> I don't know. I guess they thought I was finna break into like laundromat that, that I was in front of, so. They pulled up, trying to like arrest me. Even though they seen me playing with it, still. Laser Jim, have you ever worked at a grocery store? Yeah. No, but yeah. Yeah. What was that like? I stock up the freezer and sweep up the Santa Co. Nah, I was just playing. <laughs> nah, I was just cleaning the, um, stocking the freezer, the joints, f refilling the joints, and. Making sure the, um, where the pump's at is neat, like cleaning up outside, like sweeping out all the trash out in front of it, making it neat. Laser Dim, a quote, pants sag while I piss in the... Pun. Exotic? Excited. Excited, excited. <laughs> excited, excited. <laughs> excited, excited. Quote, skinny jeans drip, I fill it with... My, uh... Cash. Oh, we're, oh, <laughs> I'm thinking about another song. Skinny jeans, I feel it with cash. Thought we were trading our pill on it. Oh. Crime. Excited, excited. And I was curious. Oh, that's crime. Damn, you tapped all the way in. Thought we were trading our pill on it. Oh, that's crime. That's the song, Gots and Drop. Damn, that's crazy. He tapped in for real. He tapped in. <laughs> You tie dance, man. Well, you are a laser gym. We have to know. Yeah, you tie dance, man. Crime. That ain't even no popular song. Thought we, wait. What was that like, doing that song? It was great. I probably did it in the car song. It was great. How quick? Probably like 30 minutes. Is that the quickest you've done a song, pretty much? Quick as I did a song, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. One take or a couple takes? Usually, is there a couple takes or just one? Punching in. I be punching in like bar, 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 bar. I was curious, Leisure Dim, this pic right here, what is going on, speaking of drip, right here? <laughs> Black pants. I think these were like the, uh, the biker jeans everybody was wearing back then. This is a girl Nike jacket. I just put it on. I had on them, 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 them Jordan 8. Y'all can see it. But. This drip though, like, I ain't had no drip back then, so like, this was uh, like, what I could uh, like, get my hands on. I don't even know what grade I was in. <laughs> was that at McNair? Nah, this at my high school. McNair, you know about McNair? <laughs> he did it! <laughs> yeah, nah, this ain't McNair though. This, this is my high school. And how would you compare that to what you're wearing right now? This is a little bit more expensive what I got on, and this probably was free. <laughs> free is important, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, free, very important. Do your feet ever hurt? Nah. Like, in the Resident Evil vid, you have some slides. <laughs> yeah, I got slides on, uh, Yeezy slide. But are those good on the feet, the slides? They are good on the feet, aren't they? Yeah, they good. My video will be running, guys, so I don't really be... It'd be 20 minute video shoot. I don't really be hour long video shoots. Simmer Down by Bob Marley, you've mentioned before. <laughs> yeah, Simmer Down by Bob Marley. How'd you get into that? I was in the Uber. The Uber driver was telling me about, about Bob Marley. Like they were trying to explain something to me. I just thought about that. And they, they were telling me what Simmer Down mean. mean, like chill, chill out. And I just, I just wanted to use a different language. Well, I have a gift for you, some early Bob Marley, some ska right here, some Studio One classics. That's a gift for you, possibly to sample too. Thank you.
the ska era of Bob Marley. What is this, a, 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 a record? A double LP for Gozan to sample, for you to sample. So that he going to be able to pull this up? Exactly, or maybe find it on YouTube as well. Is that where you get a lot of inspiration, just from like listening to music in different places, like, uh, like an Uber, etc. somebody handing you a record? Yes, like I get all my inspiration from like, just living, like everything I do, like it just be based on like what I see or what somebody tell me. Everything, like it just be all off the environment or whatever I'm in. But that is a gift from you, some early Bob Marley, because you mentioned you like Bob Marley. That's his ska version of Bob Marley. Some early Bob Marley, Studio One. Is he in a band? That's him actually in the Whalers, yeah, in Jamaica. What's the, what is it called? The, the Whalers, Bob Marley and the Whalers. He goes way back to the early 60s, and it's sort of like a cool ska tinge to that. So some earlier Studio One, Bob Marley, the original. So they were like dropping albums and stuff? I think this is a compilation. They put a lot of 45s as well, some albums, but this is a compilation. For sure. Oh, some of his older stuff. Appreciate it. Quite a few songs on there. <laughs> they got like 30... 20 songs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, yeah, they got 20 songs on the album. 20 potential laser dim classics. <laughs> 20 potential sample, sample songs. I don't know, though. Won't you get fined for, like, sampling stuff? Like, don't, I got to. I got to reach out to them to sample in order to sample. I don't. I do. Damn. They're going to sue me. If I take it, they're going to sue me. No, please take it. That's a gift for you. Please take, <laughs> yeah, please take it. Like they songs, like they songs. If I take, they, if I sample it. Probably live you can do it. Uh, you know, eventually down the line you'll have to clear it but you know for a live performance or two you know just try it out for sure or a demo for sure laser dim you don't like sauces yeah nah i like regular food like just give me the chicken nuggets without no ketchup or nothing like that i hate sauces how long has the anti-sauce behavior been with laser dim <laughs> It, it just started, though. I really just started doing that. Like, I used to get sauces. Now, I, don't, I just eat regular now. I hate sauces now. What about canes? I, I just eat regular chicken tenders and fries at can. I don't use sauce. Or Gold Peak Blueberry Iced Tea. Gold Peak. It's the sweet tea. Gold Peak sponsor me, bro. What's up, bro? Gold Peak. And the American Deli. Oh, yeah, American Daily, honey. Hot. Ten, Atlanta. Ten piece. American Daily ain't everywhere? Not in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where I'm from. Yeah, American Daily. If you ever come to Atlanta, American Daily. Anybody will tell you that, though. American Daily, ten piece, honey hot combo, peach joint, large peach joint. That's what to have? Yeah, that's what to have. No ranch. <laughs> and the juicy crab. Juicy crab. A two, one pound, a pound and a half shrimp, garlic butter. Yeah, garlic butter only. No seasoning. Garlic butter only. No season. Shrimp, a pound of shrimp. No drink. <laughs> cooking tips with laser? Doing 700. And laser didn't quote. Sorry? Nah, go, 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 go. <laughs> quote. Everyone's. <laughs> everyone. Everyone sleeps piled up on <laughs> a futon. <laughs> Everybody sleep piled up on a futon. Get out of. Get out of. You. You. Yukon. Oh, everybody. <laughs> everybody sleep piled up on a futon. Get out of Yukon. Use a. Damn, I got Q. I got to think about that song. Use a coupon. Oh, purchase my zip. I use purchase my zip. I use the coupon. Oh yeah, purchase my zip. I use a little coupon. You tap in. <laughs> Cause that song ain't even out yet. That's crazy. 
you know that. That's crazy. Well, you are laser to We have to know. Everybody sneak <laughs> pile up on the food time. Pressure my zip. I use a little coupon. Damn, you tired. <laughs> He's so scared, Chad. He's so scared, right? He's like, how do he know all this, bro? <laughs> Vitelli, you know that song? Yes. That's crazy. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, who else do you have in the room right now? DJ Ben. He gonna DJ my set today. My manager, Vitelli. My booking agent, Noah. And I help her, and Nara, <laughs> she just, she, she, yeah, she just had assistance. Quote, little twin set it off, thinks he's boosy. Little twin set it out, he thought he boosy. I watched Drip Lane put on no Gucci. Mm. Little twin set it out, he thought he boosy. Yeah, that's that same song, you talk down. Cause you got three important lines from that. When is that gonna come out? It was supposed to come out this weekend, but next weekend probably. Cause I just shot the video for it, so next weekend. I was wondering about that, Laser Dim. Your shows, you go like right into the audience. I've seen like there's you don't use the stage sometimes. Yeah, cause I be like in the field, like I really be like be like with them, it's like club vibes, like type, like everybody like the energy got to be the same, type. The stage, ever, stage born. Stage born. Do you ever do backflips during when you perform? <laughs> nah, nah. Because you can do backflips. How you know? <laughs> you are a laser gym. We have to know. <laughs> I mean, that's your thing. You do backflips. I just learned how to do that, though. I just learned how to do backflip. And I only can do it on some bouncy. Like, I can't do it, like, on this. I wouldn't want you to do it now and get injured. I can't do it on this. Laser Tim, winding up here, I have another gift for you right here. A James Bond LP. Thanks. Some themes for you to sample. This is really where I get my name from right here. Yeah, what can you say about your name? Like, Laser on Sun Honey. It's just Sun Honey, like, it's just 007 backwards. I used to play James Bond game. Like, it, it, he had a little game. I used to play the game. I was just, I just used to always watch it. So I put my name, Laser on Sun Honey. I ain't want to put 007. That's like, that's like, see what I'm saying? So I just put 700 backers. So that's a gift for you. For Laser Dim 700, some James Bond 007. Appreciate it. And there we go. Some James Bond for Laser Dim 700. I got you a gift too. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I, I know some too. I try to get you, well, they try to get you another gift, but it didn't come in time. But I can tell you about it. Like, it's, it's tell them about it. Like, it's, like, it's, what happened? Your, your hat, your hat, it's about your hat. Like, your hat got stolen or something. Many years ago, yes. Many years ago, your hat got stolen. What we was going to do, we was going to bring that exact hat that got, well, not the exact hat, we was going to bring, like, a, a, a copy of that exact hat that got stolen, we were going to give it to you. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Laser Dim. That's so kind of you. Yeah, you didn't come in town, though. But th your hat got stolen, right? You did, exactly. That's amazing. That's amazing you knew that. Yeah, your hat got stolen. But I think they... I you should have been like, he's like, you're no one. We supposed to know. <laughs> they got so much for you, too. What am I doing? So right now, Nara opening his gift for me and my management. Hopefully this is familiar to him. <laughs> wow! This book... You, you, you know where this is from? There, I, I want to... This is incredible! Like, I, I think there's a photo of my mom. That's my mom. That's her mom? That's my mom. Thank you so much, Laser Dam. Thank you. That's, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Like, it's great to see my mom, who has passed away, again. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. She'd be so stoked to be yeah, in the middle man, of the interview. Bro. So there she is. So thank you, Laser Dim. This is amazing. Thank you, Laser Thank you. Thank you, God, bro. I, I really appreciate that. That's so nice. And thank you for thinking of the hat, too. For sure. So thank you very much, w managers. God, bro. One more time for w all the managers. God, thank you, Laser Dim 700 Management. Kim, shout out Kim. Kim, you got to meet him. <laughs> Kim, you ain't here. 
I'm sorry. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all, laser dim? Um, just do whatever you're gonna do. Like whatever you. W, bro. W, God, bro. W, 